Hello, my name is Ken Lock Anstis, and I'd like to bring you some bedtime reading. Chapter 14 Slang Although the best of English writers use slang to some extent, and every newspaper and magazine contains numerous examples, it is used much more by young people, especially when they are gathered together for a particular purpose. Schoolboys have their own slang, but are fonder of echoing and adopting the phrases of others and of making up new words for themselves. A writer in the middle of the 19th century who made the first history of slang says it is most common in conditions of crowding and excitement and artificial life. Any sudden excitement or peculiar circumstances quite sufficient to originate and set going a score of slang words. That is why university students and young men called together to serve in the army or the air force will quickly make up new expressions. Indeed, the men in the RAF have so many new words and phrases that conversation among themselves is almost unintelligible to the ordinary citizen. In the same way, the language of the American Western novels is not easily understandable unless you are a Western fan which word, incidentally, is another American slang word, a shortening of fanatic, and so means one whose intense admiration pays little attention to reason. Slang is made by lively, imaginative people who are not afraid of being different from others or of breaking the accepted rules of grammar and speech. <sighs> I won't tell you how it ends, um, but the cover of the book came off, so I might as well show you what we were reading. <laughs>